Hello and welcome. Today we are going to set up Global Protect for Palo Alto. So the lab is still the same. In this case, the firewall, uh, London firewall is on. The computer we don't need it, and switch and panorama. And I'm going to set up everything from panorama. So first of all, click on device, certificate management, certificate. Click generate and we give a name. So we give a global protect. Protect. Then just copy and paste here. And select certificate authority and the rest will be the same. And press uh, um, generate. Select this the certificate we generate and then again click on the bottom generate again. So name we give um, external GW that means uh, gateway portal. Common name here will be the IP of the one uh, the one interface. In my case will be uh, not this IP it will be 192.168.0.80 is my internal interface in this case well of course you have to put your public IP so 080 then uh, signed by global protect then uh, generate again and uh, will be uh, shove like you can see on the monitor now so keep in mind uh, we cannot test i mean <coughs> sorry we cannot test directly from this machine because uh, the ip will be the same so the system will not allow to do that but if you try with your mobile uh, with uh, the data mobile with your public IP eventually if you build a lab you will see how it works so at this point we're going to create SSL TLS service pro uh, service profile and we find here on the left click add give a name again external GW portal certificate again external the GW portal and click OK. Now we're going to create the user. So at the on the left, at the bottom, users. You find one user here from another test. Let me remove this one. At the bottom, click add and we call crazy net password. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and click OK. So, at this point, we need to create the authentication profile. Still on the same uh, tab, device, on the left, authentication profile. At this point, at the bottom, click Add, and we give a name like, for example, local, of course, usually we using active directory but this one is just uh, for uh, for testing but if you want to see how to add uh, active directory on palo alto i suggest to see uh, the other video i create for you so type of course local local database and then the rest will be default and click ok I forgot one thing, so sorry. Uh, open again, if you just uh, close, advanced, add, select all users. In this case, there is just one user, so, and click OK. Now, we are going to create the tunnel port. For do that, in my case, I need to choose the template London Office Stack. So, under network, interface, tunnel, uh, let me remove this tunnel we create again. So, 
the tunnel is under london okay so okay add tunnel uh, three for example comment if you want router nothing because it's under london stack zone inside the the trust so if you have uh, the zone inside inside otherwise another trust zone if you have more than one uh, let me go here london stack office interface override and uh, i'm going to select my uh, virtual router and press ok you see here missing so because you have to do two times there we go so now we are going to um, create a global protect gateway and on the left gl uh, global protect and click gateway so at this point at the bottom click add name and we give global protect gateway gateways interface we have to select the outside interface in my case is this one 1.10 ip and uh, ip address known authentication authentication we give uh, uh, the certificate we generate external gateway portal then uh, we are going to add uh name we give uh, external global protect authentication operation system any but you can choose if you want android chrome ios etc etc authentication profile local for the our username and everything will be like you see here the default then at this point we have to click on agent we need to activate tunnel mode we need to select the our interface uh, the tunnel interface we created just a few seconds ago tunnel uh, of course ip enable ipsec and then client settings client settings add name and we can call gp uh, client config any so we can leave everything like like you can see right now ip pools ip pool will be the ip then uh, our user the remote user will receive so for example add 10.46.41.151-10.146-41.250 and basically that's all split tunnel under split tunnel we, we need to include the network we want to reach inside our network so in my case will be for example 10 10 the network 10.0 slash 24 so um include 192.168.10.0 slash 24 and click ok now you click ok again there is other option huh? lots of other option for other purpose but for example you can specify dns etc etc and click ok now under portal instead here portal we are going to create our portal at the bottom click add name uh, gp portal interface 1.10 is my uh, one interface ip none and everything will be as default select the certificate click add so basically you have to do what we did before at the end of the day so name local 
local AUTH AUTH uh, authentication profile local username and password enter the this is the welcome uh, message so it's the banner and click OK so at this point we have to click OK Oh no, sorry, I forgot one thing. Agent. So under agent, add authentication, and then we give the um, authentication name. So external gateway uh, one, for example, or I can call even uh, crazy net. Then everything will be like you can see right now. So everything will be default so now we need to click here external add and uh, we give a name uh, external gateway one for example in this case and click ip and uh, i'm going to enter my uh, one IP, so in this case uh, is this one. Source any because I can specify, of course, the source if I want to, and press OK, and then uh, uh, OK again. Let me see. Yes, OK, and press OK. Under here, trust root CA, add global protect and click install local root certificate on the store and press ok at this point we can commit and push and let's see if it's everything works let's see in the meantime i'm going to set my mobile um, let me see if I have uh, any desk. No, because as I told you before, I need to do it the the test uh, outside my network. This cannot be the same network. Okay then. So let's see if everything works. Uh, this is my mobile. I need to use Team View because now I'm going to disconnect from my network so let me see my IP address uh, going to open uh, Chrome and I'm going to enter my public IP so HTTPS you see, I'm receive uh, your connection is not private because I have not the certificate. The certificate is lo uh, it's local, so proceed. But for the test is fine. I'm going to uh, digit my username, lowercase, crazy net, password, uh, three, four, five, six. And you see, now I can download the agent. Uh, for Windows 32 bit, 64 bit, or otherwise for Mac. Of course, I cannot download them on mobile, but anyway, the configuration works. So, for today, is everything. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you have any question, of course, leave a message. And ah, just in case I show you something else, monitor global protect. And you see here. Um, sorry, I need to show you in the local firewall because I didn't set the uh, logs forward. Forwarding global protect. Uh, there we go. Crazy net is connected. It's authenticated. The public IP of my mobile, and there you go. Easy. Thank you very much for watching.